to be doing a look that is inspired by one of the face charts from the newest MAC collection called To The Beach. And I was really excited when this collection came out because, you know, everything was so summery. All the colors were gorgeous. You know, there was like turquoise and green and pink and coral and all those just gorgeous colors that, you know, remind you of summer. So I decided to do one of the looks that was inspired by the Sweet and Punchy face chart, and it's a dark green smoky eye with um, some turquoise, and there's a little bit on the lash line, but you can't really tell from this angle. But yeah, it's a really easy look, surprising. It's very easy, you know. It takes maybe, I don't know how long the video is, but we'll see. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this look, and if you do try it out, let me know. So let's go ahead and get the tutorial started. Okay, so this is just going to be loosely based off of the face chart, but um, I'm just gonna change a couple things. But anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is apply the eye coal in Flow Down By, and then I'm going to messily put this on my upper lash line, and I'm going to make the line kind of thick because we are going to smudge it out. Like, as you can see on this side, there's like that hint of turquoise by the lash line, so we're going to do that. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and just smudge it out. And you can use your finger here if you want to. Um, you can also use the edge of a flat brush. So like now I'm going to this. take Humid Eyeshadow, and I already have it in my palette. I don't have the one from the collection with the pretty packaging. So I'm just going to take that with my flat brush, just like that. And be sure to tap off the excess because this is a dark color, and we don't want the excess to fall on our cheeks and ruin our face makeup. So I'm just putting that all over my lid. Just go ahead and pat on that eyeshadow, and then if you want to blend this line out here, just turn your brush sideways and blend it outwards. But you don't have to worry about this line too much because we're going to be taking a brighter green color and we're going to blend that outwards. So now I'm going to take Sweet and Punchy, and I'm going to take that with a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224, and I'm going to dip it in there a couple times. It says on the face chart to apply it on the outer corners. So what I actually did is I put it all up here, like throughout the crease and sort of brought it up towards my brow bone, but I emphasized most of the color out here on this outer corner. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do on this eye. I'm going to just bring it upwards. Make sure that you have that humid color blended out because you want all your colors to be nice and blended so that everything looks really seamless and just really flowy. So I'm going to keep blending that out and blending, blending, blending. And take your time on this, you know, if you have that harsh line, just take your time on it because it will really pay off and it'll make a difference in the look. So I'm taking more of that sweet and punchy and I'm going to swirl it on the outer corner of my eye and then bring it inwards. Can you see that intensity? This is such a gorgeous color. It's like a like a really lime green. It's like a subtle lime green. It's just a perfect summer color. I love this collection overall. Okay, so I have that color placed on. I'm just going to check back to make sure that both sides are even, and I think I'm looking good. Okay, so I'm going to apply my highlight, and it says for the highlight to use brulee eyeshadow. I personally don't own brulee eyeshadow, so I'm just going to use my good old Samoa Silk right there. And I'm taking it with the side of my 224, and I'm just going to sweep it like that. That way it meets with that sweet and punchy color, and I can just blend it out. So go ahead and take your Float On by Eye Coal and line your waterline. And this doesn't say this in the face chart, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it a little bit downwards towards my lower lash line. Because you can see I have it like on the roots of where my lashes grow. So I'm just going to like slightly tug on my eye just with my pinky. And just very gently apply that color. So I have it like that. And then go back to your pencil brush, and we're going to go take the Humid eyeshadow again. This one right here. And then we're going to smudge that flow down by out. And we're going to create this really nice smoky color because we're going to copy this. We're going to have the Humid, then the Sweet and Punchy, and we're just going to put it on the lower lash line. And make sure that you connect it out here because, like I said, we want everything to be really nice and seamless. Now I'm going to take Sweet and Punchy, and I'm just going to run it below that humid color. 
So it's that transition from the turquoise to the dark green to the light green and it just looks so pretty and so alluring. Perfect for summer. And make sure that you make sure everything here is nice and continuous. Now this part is optional but I'm just going to take my Lush Raven and an eyeliner brush and I'm just going to do a really S small line like a really small line because I am going to be putting on some false lashes and I want the band of my lashes to kind of blend in with this black color because I don't want that like patchy looking line showing up so just a really small line and because we still want that float on by to show up so just a really small line I'm gonna put lash blast on my lower lashes I'm just going to curl my lashes with my Shuyamura or Uyamura, Uyamura. <laughs> I'm going to curl them and then I'm going to put mascara on and then I'm going to apply my false lashes and these are the number 42s by Red. Okay, so here's the finished look with the false eyelashes and I really, really like this look for summer. It's so perfect. But anyways, um, the face chart says for the cheeks to dust on beach bronze, cream bronzer, and getaway bronze. But I personally didn't get any um, blushes or any bronzers from the collection reason being is because you know I'm already like naturally dark and this is like the color that I usually am year-round maybe a little bit lighter but I don't usually get bronzers but um I'm going to use my dark mineralized skin finish as my bronzer this is actually just you know regular face powder but I'm going to use it as a bronzer so I have it on a blush brush and I'm just going to lightly sweep this on my cheeks and on the spots where sun would hit so cheeks Forehead, bridge of the nose, places like that. And what's nice about this is that the um, pay a color payoff, like the coverage, is really light, so you can build this up as much as you want to. I'm just gonna put some on my forehead, especially right here. But I guess since I have my bangs down, it doesn't matter. But oh well. So I have that done, and let's see. We're gonna do the lips now. And for the lips, it says to contour with oak lip pencil. I personally don't own oak. I do have stripped down though, so I'm going to use that. And align my lips. And then for the lipstick, it says to apply Beach Bound, which is like an apricot, nude, shimmery color. Really good for, um, you know, since we have a lot of color on the eye, it's just a really nice, subtle nude color has nude lips with, you know, smoky eyes, a lot of colored eyes. All right. And it's really shimmery. Well, that's pretty. This is my first time using it, so. And to finish off, it says use Easy Lounger Lip Gloss. And I have used this already. And this is like one of my favorite lip glosses because it's such a subtle pink color with um, some silver sparkle, but it's like a baby pink, almost like a watermelon pink. It's so pretty, but I'm just going to put that on my lips. And ta-da! This is the finished look for the Sweet and Punchy face chart. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So here's to a great summer, and I'll see you all in the next video.